One of the most familiar parables of Jesus is the parable of the prodigal son. In the story, the father, who represents God, welcomes back the wayward son, who really represents us all, those who are far from God but repent and come home to him. But you see, the story doesn't end with the restoration of the younger son. There's another son, the older son, who refuses to come in from the field and celebrate with the welcome back party their dad is throwing for his rebellious brother. You see, in the story, the father comes outside, begs him to come inside and celebrate his younger brother's restoration. But he won't. And in Luke 15, this, this older son shows that he sees himself as the good son. But this good son shows great disrespect for his dad by, by forcing him to come outside to him. He arrogantly tells his dad that he's served him for many years and that he's, he's never disobeyed him in any way and he even exaggerates the sins of his younger brother to make himself look better. And he even implies that his father loves the younger brother more than he does him. Anger, disrespect, envy, arrogance, dishonesty, bitterness, these are the traits of the good son. You know, in Proverbs 14, it says, a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. You see, the prodigal son, he's at peace. And that peace came from the moment he decided to humble himself, return to his father, and repent of his sins. But the bitter brother has rotting bones. It's just as Jesus said in Matthew 23, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. See, let me encourage you, don't be like that older brother. It's your choice. Let go of anger, envy, arrogance, bitterness, and recognize and realize that all of us have been prodigals, and we all need the forgiveness and grace that only Jesus offers.